Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we will be looking at the question of, do I get sick because I commit sin? This is the time of year a lot of people get sick. All through the year, various people will even get seriously ill and maybe even have diseases that lead to death. Sometimes when we are sick, we begin to ask the question, why me? Why am I sick? We may even begin to review our life and convince ourselves that God must be punishing me for my sins, and that's the reason I'm sick. In other words, God is making me sick. Well, the fact of the matter is, though, the Bible does not teach this. In fact, it teaches the complete opposite. Let's turn to John chapter 9. In John chapter 9, Jesus and his disciples were uh, seeing a man who was blind. In fact, he was blind from birth. And the disciples asked Jesus, who had sinned? Was it this man or his parents? They were asking, why is he blind? Obviously, it must be from sin. Was it this man's sin or his parents? Notice what Jesus' answer is in verse 3. Jesus' answer was, Neither has this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made known or manifest in him. Let's be careful what Jesus is saying here. Jesus is not saying this, that this man never sinned. Nor is he saying that this man's parents never sinned. Jesus was asked the question, why is this man blind? And his answer was, he is not blind because he sinned. He is not blind because his parents sinned. That's not why he's sick. He's sick, well, A, because our bodies do have illnesses, do have problems. But moreover, he is sick because, or he is blind, because the works of God needed to be made known in him. Jesus was going to heal this man. In one sense, Jesus is saying he's blind, so I can show you that I have the power to heal. He is not blind because of his sin. So what can we learn from sicknesses? We can learn that our body is wearing out. Year by year, sickness by sickness, our body is getting older. We must therefore prepare and be prepared for the day of our death. This means we need to consider our own mortality and find God. How do we find God? Well, first of all, we can look all around us and know that there is a God, despite what people want to tell us. There is a God. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows his handiwork. There is a God. Which is the right God? Well, we find in the scriptures in John that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is the way to God. His scriptures are the way to God. No other prophet, no other God can lead us to heaven. Only the God of the Bible can lead us to heaven. Romans chapter 10 says, For faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You must hear the word of God in order to be saved, because it is only by hearing that we can produce faith. Moreover, Acts 2.38 says we need to repent and be baptized. We need to repent. Romans 10 verse 9 tells us we need to confess Jesus as Lord with our mouth publicly. Again, back to Acts 2 verse 38 says we repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptism is necessary for the remission of sins. Why is it necessary? Galatians 3 verse 27 says it, For as many as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. You cannot put on Christ, you cannot be a Christian, if you have not been baptized. Sicknesses remind us that we will die. Have you considered your spiritual life? Have you considered your spiritual future? If you have not, the brethren here in Toronto would love to study with you on that and would love to study the Bible with you to show you what you need to hear. To show you that once you hear, you can believe for yourself in what the Bible says and that that we can show you how to obey the God of the Bible. 
so that you might be saved and so that you might have the hope of eternal life. If it is your desire to have a study, you may reach us by email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our hours of service are Sunday at 10 a.m. for Bible study and 11 a.m. for morning worship, as well as Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. for midweek Bible study. Everyone is welcome to come. You will be uh, welcomed and you will hear the Word of God. If you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, or if you have any general comments about what you have heard today, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you ha- uh, would like to catch up on any episode that you missed, you will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the daily podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes. Uh, that we have spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. Please join me, the Lord willing, tomorrow when we will be discussing uh, the topic of a warning to those who want to be rich. Until you listen again, keep searching the Scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.